Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my daughter. Hi, I'm Rowan. And together we're going to address another child's question. But before we begin, we're going to take a moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you so very much for this time to spend with you in thy word. I pray for your Holy Spirit to guide us and that we may see the things that are therein and get the answer to our question. And I pray that uh, the answer shall enter into our hearts and our minds. And I pray that uh, you'd speak to us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Rowan, what's our question this morning? If God knows I'm going to sin, why confess it now? All right. To get this understanding, we're going to turn to the book of Isaiah. And in Isaiah, we're going to look at chapter 46. So turn with me to Isaiah 46. And let's take a look here. In Isaiah 46, we're going to read verses 9 and 10. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Okay, so God knows the end from the beginning. He knows the future. He's the only being in all the universe that has this. Uh, Satan can do a pretty good guess, but he cannot necessarily get it accurately because he's just guessing a good guess. I mean, he's known human beings for some time now. Even the angels, they can do a good guess too, but there is only one being that can actually know for absolute sure what the future is going to be, and that happens to be God. Now, when we sin, we confess our sins to God and he forgives us but the question happens to be why should we for ask for forgiveness now if God knows we're going to do it again anyways and that is because he operates on our time and we're the ones that don't know the future we think we're not going to do it again and it very well may be that this was the last time we're going to do whatever it happens to be. And we are to sincerely go and enter into a time with God, confessing that we have sinned, repent of it, and act upon that. If we happen to do it again, we still have, according to the Bible, the Advocate, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we can go to, again confess the sin. And even though God knows, oh, you got a long way to go because uh, you're going to do it another 78 more times, it doesn't matter. For all the other beings observing what's going on in our time and not knowing the future, everyone can believe, especially when we show sincerity, that this is going to be the absolute last time. And so since we do not know the future, we cannot wait until we think we're good and ready and we'll never do it again. And so when you do something wrong, even though you've repeated it a number of times and you think that it might happen again, confess your sin and then by the grace of God, resist the devil as we're told to do. Submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, and hopefully it never happens again. But God doesn't hold it against us, knowing full well that in another three days, we're going to do it again. We only can operate at the here and now. We don't have the privilege of that God knows the future. So that's our answer. And let's now pray. Our Father, please help us to stop sinning. Help us to be what are called overcomers, that we no longer do those things. And if we do sin, may we not hesitate to come to Thee and confess our sins. In other words, to do it right away and not wait around. And I pray that with all sincerity 
that you will strengthen us and that we would resist the temptations and live the way you would have us to live. Help us, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.